Hi everybody, I'm Drake York and uh, this week we've got a race review. we got a few big races coming up here. First off, this Friday night at the Silver Dollar Speedway, Pepsi Night. Uh, always a great event at Silver Dollar Speedway. Last year's winner, Bud Kading, won the event. So many great names have uh, won that event. And it's a, just a great night overall. Got all kinds of cars racing there. And you can buy tickets at SilverDollarSpeedway.com. And then on Saturday... We will have Cycling and Speedwheel will be racing all their classes, um, beginner box stock, box stock, 250, intermediate, open cars, open intermediate, and sportsmen's will all be there. Um, big storyline coming in these final few races at Cycling will be Landon Brooks trying to become the youngest winner uh, of the Open Championship at Cycling and Speedway, only being 12 years old. Uh, what a remarkable feat there. If if he can pull this thing off. And also um, another driver that's been very good at cycling this season in the box stock class. He's won 13 races already. Trying to get his 14th this week is Ryan Renaud. Last week he uh, won in very thrilling fashion as he passed Rowdy Gramps there on the final lap. And did a fantastic job in that race. So he's always fun to watch if you put him kind of far back in the field as he charges his way up to the front. But also keep your eye on Rowdy Gramps in the box stock class this week. He has been fast. All right, moving on to uh, probably what everyone's wondering what's on my mind is uh, Gold Cup Race of Champions. But not just Gold Cup. We have the Louis Vermeil Classic at Calistoga, always the very scenic Calistoga Speedway. Very historic as well. Then you have the Kyle Larson Outlaw Kart Showcase at Cycling Monday and Tuesday of that week. And then you have, obviously, the four-day Gold Cup Race of Champions. And uh, some are calling it the Golden State 8. So, very good name. you got eight nights of racing Saturday, Sunday at Calistoga. Monday, Tuesday at Cycling. I believe it's Wednesday and Thursday. Friday and Saturday at Silver Dollar Speedway for the Gold Cup. So, going to be very exciting. First off, the Vermeil Race. Got some of the best in all of California. Best nominee drivers. They hustle their cars around the... Fabulous Calistoga Speedway, very scenic, nestled right there in the Napa Valley. Should be exciting, the big half mile. Also, one thing I want to address, for some of these drivers that will run all these events, um, we saw Jack Hoddenshield do it last year. I'm not sure if he'll do it this year, but last year we saw him run both nights at Calistoga, the Kyle Larson Outlaw Kart Showcase. That was sure fun watching him in a go-kart. And then at, so he ran all four days at Silver Dollar. And if you think about it, those are all very different tracks and cars. You have Calistoga, a uh, big half-mile long-wing 410 sprint cars. Then you have the eighth-mile outlaw carts at Cycleland. And then you will have sprint cars at Silver Dollar with an even non-wing. Actually, uh, Calistoga Saturday and Sunday are part of the California Sprint Car Week, Speed Week, um, for the non-wing sprint cars, USAC CRA. And then they also stop in Chico for the, in that same week. So, very cool stuff there. So, um, then we got the Kyle Larson Showcase. I've said this like 20 times, haven't I? <laughs> um, once again, very exciting. And then, also something I really wanted to address about the Outlaws and the Best in California. It's been a rivalry for a very long time with all these drivers. And, you know, you got the Best in California, you got Hurst, Abreu, Elias, and he's been fast. Bud Kading, Sean Becker, and Andy Forsberg, Becker and Forsberg, and even Michael Ng might come into the mix here for a gold cup. Uh, we've seen him run very well at big events in the past, about one the David Tarr Memorial. So it's going to be very fun. But I would like to know your thoughts on this, everybody. Two of the biggest young drivers in California, um, they haven't been around for very long, but you've probably heard their, your, their names already, is... Michael Kofoid and Geo Selzy. Now they don't meet the age requirement to run with the World of Outlaws Craftsman Sprint Cars. So they cannot compete at Gold Cup. I would like to know your guys' thoughts on this as they've both shown that they can they know how to win races and they can go fast. So I would just like to know your thoughts of that. And you know, as we keep talking about Gold Cup, uh, it's a very historic race. Uh, been around for 64 years. Well, this will be the 64th edition of the Gold Cup. And, you know, we also got to talk about Kyle Larson. How can you not talk about Kyle Larson and stuff like this in California? He won the Gold Cup twice back when it was very unheard of that a local would come and beat the Outlaws. 
and you know now he's doing the whole deal at cycle land with the showcase so we all, we always appreciate kyle he will be running showcase um like i said we always appreciate kyle coming back to his roots um putting on great events like the outlaw cart showcase so very good stuff there and that's all i have for you this week also don't forget to buy tickets for all these races um you can buy tickets for the meal race from HMC Promotions at, this is the area code right here, 916-773-7225. That's the, that's the phone number you can get tickets for for Calistoga. I hope you guys decide to come to all these races. Also get the Gold Cup tickets at SilverDollarSpeedway.com. That's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed my random rambling of today. So uh, tune in for next time, guys.